For 10 years, I've been dealing with people in crisis and in sadness. And I feel like beauty is something that's really needed right now. A place that brings together the spirit and heals and makes people feel like hope is possible. I started the Sanctuary Peace Silks, which grew out of my original idea to make a portable cathedral that actually has been used by women Catholic priests that have been excommunicated. To give you some idea of the kind of silk installations I do, I project on silk in addition to painting it. So some silks are plain and they're maybe 18 feet or they may fill three whole rooms like we did at the Monterey Conference Center. I shoot and edit video in addition to photography and painting, so they all combine in my installations to make the experience richer and have more depth. And I also include details and facts from scientists, in this case, the sea turtles. And I thought, well, if I can get them to really experience some magic that's in the ocean, that's what I feel when I go snorkeling and underwater. I started out doing large silks when I was in grad school and then at the Steinbeck Center at Pacific Grove Art Center and then in Liberty Station in San Diego at Billy Hamilton's Fine Art Gallery. And I did things like I projected onto hundreds of broken mirrors. I had people write their stories. I had uh, interviewed 300 different couples and showed videos and projected them onto silks and onto walls and onto buildings. But the most beautiful part of this whole work is the, the large silks that I want to do now that, that will create a safe space for immigrants, for refugees, and, and also be allow a space for storytelling. In the past, I did uh, silk puppets and stories based, based on West African folktale called Why Mosquitoes Buzz, and we made backgrounds and we produced a video and we did uh, shows at the Steinbeck Center and at the Museum of Art in Monterey. The silks that I've done with refugee kids have been in a lot of places in Atlanta because my partner there is One Billion Rising for Justice. We had them in the City Hall, we had them in, um, in the Center for Civil and Human Rights. We also exhibited on Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. and on the National Mall with the International Child Art Festival. My grandmother was from Colombia, and I've worked 20 years with international and multicultural communities, making art that has a voice for people often misunderstood or not listened to. <laughs>